Alright, so we've got some Tech 9 for you. And this one was a little bit more of a unheard release, I think, in a lot of ways. Tech 9 was really popular about 10 years ago, 12 years ago. And this was one of the things, you know, he had so much anticipation that, you know, he, unreleased songs were starting to get a lot of exposure and it culminated in an album. So obviously, if you're saying, well, Tech 9 took some years off for a little while there, there were a couple projects that actually, you know, he released Angelic in 03, and Cut Calhoun dropped his debut album in 2004, which Tech 9 appeared on a few times. Chris Calico was on there. And then in 2005, he dropped Vintage Tech. Now the thing about this release is it's it's almost a mixed bag, but it's a little bit better, a little bit more in your favor. The main thing is is that it, it's just a few tracks shy of like being a, a knockout, but it still does happen to have these. Um, it does happen to have these hit songs. So that's really the best part about it is. It's just Tech 9 for kind of a secret sort of thing. So the production, I guess I could talk about it a little bit more. Really, with this project, I feel like Tech 9 is interesting even when his incomplete stuff that he does is still being seen. Not every single song works, but there were definitely some ideas. I mean, he's pretty much getting to the point where he's on par with Eminem. He's on par with a lot of people in mainstream rap. A lot of people will never give him those credentials, but it's not even a question at this point. You know, if we were to get a Drake unreleased thing, how well would those songs fare? But, you know, this is just thing. I mean, he came up in the underground scene. This is a good example of how to do that. But let's get into the songs, the production... I really like the song Now It's On, Red Necro, Trapped in a Psycho's Body, My Own Hell, Victory, and also Be Jealous. So those are several of the songs that I liked. The Unheard Songs, which are songs you may not have heard but need to listen to, I like 9 out of 15. So the 9 songs I liked were Monster, now it's on, Be Jealous, Red Necro, Trapped in a Psycho's Body, My Own Hell, Victory, Snake Ya, and a song I was on the fence about was Shocked. So, Red Necro is really a good song to go for. Uh, Trapped in a Psycho's Body is another one. Now it's on is probably one of the best songs on here. My Own Hell and Victory are both pretty good songs. I mean, most of these, you know, I think listening, trying to figure out what the most popular songs on this project are, the big thing about it is, is there's actually more songs than, you know, if you have people that you know that like one or two songs by each person, well, obviously there's more to it, or each CD, there's definitely more on this project besides just liking a song or two and so it's not just a little bit of table talk it's really you know there's some it's not a full-blown classic but there's definitely songs that are gonna last you a few more hours rather than just that i mean some of these songs are repeatable but also a main thing about it is is that, you know, Tech 9 has the ability to carry things, and especially unreleased material. This is very good. So, this is something to pay attention to. The nine songs that I mentioned are really some ones to go for. There's obviously more stuff on here. I would have liked the I'm a Player remix, but I, I didn't really feel it that much. You know, there's just a few other ones. Mainly, just the thing is, is it didn't sound like something that needed to be released you know obviously i consider unreleased songs songs that would have been on the album but he just didn't choose them 
and those songs didn't feel like that. So it's really the thing to look for. So I'm going to give this album a 6.5 out of 10 because I like 9 out of 15. Really, I, I would give it a 7. I guess I could give it a 7 just because I like the spirit of it, but to me, it's just like a song like Now It's On and Red Necro are really the songs I was looking for the most. You know, this instant hits that you can continue to play again and again and again. And I'd also say My Own Hell and Victory would be some of those, but that's pretty much the only discussion, you know, Tech Nine fan or people who aren't fans of Tech Nine, there might be a few songs, but really, this this is just like a, a miniature party right here. That's really what it is. Is it happens to, you know, this will, you know, obviously, if you thought you heard everything by Tech Nine and then you discover this, this is worth a few good days of just celebrating just because you found it. So. But yeah, I give this album a 7, and the future Tech 9 is coming out this year, so is Strange Music. The Social Score, which is how well it plays around others, I will give it a 6 Social, just because it, it needed a few more hits. But we'll see how it goes. Can it be topped? I think the answer is yes, but this is still a surprise. This isn't an actual album, it's a surprise album. So that ups its value a lot more. I can definitely. This is a worthy purchase.